Welcome, everybody. Glad you decided to spend your Thursday night with us here at 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and by my side, Chris Weber and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. This homestand ends here for the Clippers as they get ready to hit the road. It's an opportunity for them to play in a heated matchup like this to play your best basketball. These are the games, guys, that show how well you match up against the other great teams in the league. And they battled these guys to one win and one loss. It's been really an intriguing matchup. I'm looking forward to seeing how the third chapter plays out. It's been a fun back and forth between these teams this season. I, I only see it heating up a little bit more here tonight. Here are the starters for Montreal. We've got Ilya Sova, also green out there, and it's Lopez in at the five down low. Here's Poole. The great fans and players alike are excited for tonight. This is just not another game on the schedule. Clash of the Titans in this one. <laughs> this will be a great test for both teams. Oh, the movement off the ball is good. I mean, and the pass to hit him in stride is even better. Ilya Sova hits the bucket. The defense has to be frustrated. Ilyasova has a knack for burying tough, contested jumpers. Now, here is Morris. Yep, it counts. We play just over a minute here in the first. Pass to Dinwiddie. The three. He doesn't hit that one. And it's the Clippers taking it the other way. And I tell you what, the margin of victory speaks for itself in that one. Just a very confident bunch right now, especially in that second half. Now Lopez, Paul George missing from long range. And Dinwiddie with the basket on the assist by Ilya Sova. He's a reliable passer. Ilya Sova brings a team-first mentality that really helps tie this team together. Peyton against Dinwiddie. Green with the rebound. And, and, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Some nice passing by Montreal here. The 17-footer. And it falls over the rim and in. Ilyasova has got his second bucket of the game to go. Definitely a shot Ilyasova can hit. He's proven time and time again how dangerous he is from the middle range. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Here's Green. Following the basket by Marcus Morris. Took him no time at all on that one. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And so George will bring it up for Los Angeles. They trail by three. That's in for the first basket of the game after three attempts. And it's really hard to knock George off his balance. He's just so long and strong. Nice take there. And first time out of the game called for Montreal. A platoon swap here for the Clippers. And here's Montreal. Rondo passes to Brooks. And that one, good. What sound fundamentals and shooting mechanics that Brooks has. I mean, he makes defenders pay from the mid-range. Crawford outside. Pass to Cousins. 103 left to play here in the first. Shot clock at six. And then Cousins with the dunk. Uh, whenever Cousins get that close to the basket, it's game over for the D. He is such a forceful presence, especially when he's dunking. Three-pointer, Brooks. And another three for Montreal. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation on his part. Here's Crawford. Again, the Clippers. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Well, that's something that they scouted him coming into tonight. They know he can make this shot. That's a poor effort defensively. Over to the wing. This one for three. O'Neal misses. And so it's Montreal now. Jackson trying to break free. Rondo, good. Well, a guy that simply brings toughness to the hardwood. Rondo, he isn't bothered by a little contact. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, and how about squeezing the orange as tight as he could there before the stuff? Yeah, no way he's going to lose that thing on the way up. 
And he gets it to go. Brooks has got seven. And this guy is a game. Brooks, I mean, you have to admire how competitive he is, even amongst aggressive coverage. From deep. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Montreal leads by four. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And from what you've seen from Montreal, uh, guys, what do you think? Well, the offense is clicking, and they seem to have seized the momentum here early on. Yeah, how many coaches say, we want to start fast? Now, let's see if they can maintain that intensity. They've got O'Neal. Crawford out there with Reggie Jackson. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins, and it's Ibaka in a power forward. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Crawford looking over the floor. Montreal leading by four. Brissett passes to Smith. And another three for Montreal. And so assured. He can't give an inch of breathing room to Smith Jr. That's when he strikes. Brooks against Jackson. A second chance effort. And contact on the shot. So he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws here for the night. Looking at current NBA players, Greg, leaving aside the real star players, who would you love to have played with from this era? Man, there's so many guys that, you know, and I hate to call them role players because they bring so much more to the table. But in reality, they got to fill some roles, right? And, you know, John Collins is a guy who's got great potential, a tremendous finisher around the, the rim. How about Robert Covington, a smooth shooter who, who defends his tail off. Davis Bertans, a, a deadly floor spacer who, who can put the ball down and, and create and make plays. So there's so many guys like that in the league that make a difference in determining whether your team can win or lose. Boy, those are three names I don't know that I would have mentioned, so I'm glad you did. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Ivica Zubats has checked in for Serge Ibaka, and it's Peyton in for Reggie Jackson. And so Green will bring it up for Montreal. Three-point lead, and count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. The willing to work the ball to his open teammate, Smith Jr. This is what leaders do best. Montreal shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Leonard against Eliasova. Leonard attacking. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And there's only ever going to be one result when Kawhi is driving to the bucket. And it's going to be loud. And it's going to be painful. And it's in there. Eliasova's got four points in the quarter. The assist is the key to that sequence. I mean, a great look to set him up. Smith against Peyton. That one, no good. Montreal leading by six. Here's Green. That's tipped. Leonard with the steal. And pushing it up. Here's Los Angeles. And Morris throws it down. Morris really rises up for these jams, leaving no mistake as he finishes with the thorn. Smith fires from way outside. Misses the three. Smith's gone one of three on the night. Oh, that's blocked. And, oh, here we go. Smith's got it. The fast break chance. Count that one. Smith's got five points so far. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Here's Peyton. Zubac trying to break loose. Peyton's shot is off. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Shoots over Leonard. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. And now it's an eight-point Montreal lead. That's their third straight make off an assist. To the paint, here's Morris. At 10, coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got four assists in the game. How about the strength of Morris? Shrugging off the D and nailing the shot. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. Yeah, he's shown terrific control of the pace 
and the rhythm of this offense. Oh, man, so unselfish. She's doing a great job creating for others and, and making pinpoint passes. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Zubox. Baca comes in for Marcus Morris. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Peyton. Now, here is Ibaka. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. George, no good. Montreal leading by nine. Here's Brooks. Count it from 12. Talk about an advanced distributor. I mean, there's passes that point guards can make, and there's passes that Rajon and Rondo can make. Here's George. That shot off. Good D by Lopez. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. Nineteen seconds left in the first half. Out of bounds. Clippers ball as the Clippers keep possession. Jackson against Rondo. Jackson with the bounce pass. Cousins with the bucket. You can't leave somebody that wide open when Jackson's running the show. <laughs> Reggie will find him every time. Here's Poole. There's Jackson with the three. And he drains the three. But let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And we are not going to halftime just yet. Officials signaling they are going to review the tape. And the NBA Replay Center in Secaucus is queuing it up. And, and even before we look at the replay, I, I'm pretty sure he got that off in time. Now they're going to switch the call. There is no doubt in looking at the replay that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I, I know some folks don't like it. And so it's Montreal up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on, well, for Montreal. Shaq, let's get your insight on the visiting team. I don't think... And that... And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Montreal leading by 12. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court right now for Montreal. They've got Brooke Lopez. Ilyasova out there with Green. And it's Poole in at the two spot. Now here's Peyton. Not a lot of room. No good there. And it's Montreal the other way. Passes it to Dinwiddie. Here's the three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Peyton outside. The shot's good on the assist by George. Peyton's got five now. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. Peyton kicks to Zubox. Lopez against Peyton. Lopez with the block. And having to be careful around Lopez. He's solid at time and winning a leap up to block shots. Here's Poole. They kick it out to Green. Launches it. Good on the three-point shot. Eight points for him. And, and just no excuse, guys, for leaving a shooter like him open beyond the arc. To the middle. Here's Leonard. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Talk about someone who knows all the angles. Kawhi on the interior. Dinwiddie. It's good. Only a few seconds into the shot clock. Dinwiddie's got his third basket of the night right there. Inside, here's Zubats. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. Montreal calls timeout. 
And Los Angeles with some changes. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Zubats. Baca comes in for Marcus Morris. And it's Jackson in for Alfred Payton. And then for Montreal, Brissette's checked in. And Brooks subbed in for Green. Drills the three-pointer. Showing just how explosive he can be. Now Brooks must continue to ride this wave of momentum. And George kicks to Jackson. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Clippers trail by 17. Down low, here's Leonard. A shot's good on the assist by George. Leonard's got eight points. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. From deep, Brooks. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Here's Jackson. The teardrop falls in. Oh, you love when Jackson comes up with the floating J. The way he shoots, it makes it impossible for the D to do anything about it. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. O'Neal's checked in for the Clippers. Crawford comes in for George. Montreal is shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Inside, trying to get open is Ibaka. And Crawford with the basket on the assist by Jackson. Six points for him. And you know what? One of the few bright spots in this game for them today. He's kept his edge even though they've been trailing. Got that one up quick. And Montreal leads by 17. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here defending the triple. And there's the pass to Ibaka. Here's the teardrop. Jackson gets the bucket. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Jacks up a three. They get it back. Here's Rondo. Cans it from downtown. Rondo's got his second basket of the game. Three-pointers are killing them at this point. And they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Jackson against Brooks. A three ball. And that's good. Reggie Jackson for three. That's a terrific answer. Right away, Jackson swings the momentum back in their favor with a big three. And here's Brooks from outside. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Montreal ahead, up by 15. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. Oh, beautiful feet. Always a luxury to have a big man who can see the whole floor. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Baca is out there with Morris. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. Then there's Reggie Jackson. And it's Crawford at the shooting guard. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. Lopez finds Smith, and he's good on the three ball. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Jackson passes to Cousins, and the rejection by Smith. From deep, Brooks, and another three for Montreal. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Jackson against Lopez. Here's Crawford. Cousins trying to free himself up. Crawford, no luck. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And the Clippers call time here. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done differently, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire. But that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of those. Yes. 
And, and slams it home and gets some camera time on the end of it. He did. He, he spent a while up on that rim, didn't he? To the middle. And it's sent back by Lopez. They retain possession. Montreal leading by 19 points. Outside, Green. Takes the three. It's rebounded by Peyton. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Leonard dishes to George. And the rejection by Smith. Count it good. And here's Montreal. Green the pass to Brooks. And they pick up two. And Montreal leads by 19. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. And it's not about running up the score. It's about closing the door on any kind of comeback. And the feed from George couldn't be better. The, the timing, the placement, everything about that dish was pinpoint. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. Lopez with the block. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for Montreal. They really had it going, guys. Their offense propelled them. In this case, it was the higher shooting percentage that made the difference and earned them the W. In what's been a good season already, tonight's win will take their record to 50 wins, a big milestone here tonight. And they've put themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team. Tonight's win will give them a 2-1 to -one edge with only one left to play. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Brooks. No fatigue in this fella tonight. Tireless, grinding out every possession and leading their offense. Gets the three-pointer to fall. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. And here's Leonard. Knocked away. And it's Brooke Lopez with the foul. That's his first foul. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. Patterson, he's checked in for Marcus Morris. O'Neal comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Jackson, he's checked in for George. And Farrell subbed in for Peyton. He gets the playground jumper and can't make good on it. So you don't get many chances easier than that. Morton Tucker. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Clippers with the ball. The shot and game clock separated by four. Jackson down low. Oturu's shot is off. Here's Horton Tucker. Outside for Jackson. Dinwiddie outside. Montreal again missing. So we see Montreal get the win here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. 